in Cambridge IGCC Information and Communication Technology, Paper 2, February March 2025. I'll be doing the presentation task. The previous task document production and database are already done. You can find the link in the description. So now we are doing task for presentation. You are going to create a short presentation. Create a presentation of eight slides using the file presentation.rtf. So I have the files here. These are the files. We have to create a presentation using presentation.rtf. So open a new blank presentation. I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint blank presentation. In order to import the file slides. Go to new slide, slides from outline, and you can choose your folder. Select the file presentation.rtf. There will be a blank slide here. This you can remove. Now you have eight slides. The slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Place in the header automated slide numbers center aligned. Include your name center number on every slide. Make sure these items appear in the pos same position on every slide. So you need to enter the slide numbers center aligned in the header. So you can go to view slide master. Now select the topmost slide. Let's remove the placeholders given here. We'll insert our own placeholders or text boxes whenever needed. So we need to first insert a slide number in the center of the header. So insert text box. You can insert it here in the center. Now keep the cursor inside the text box. Again, go to insert slide number you can see the slide number the hash so the slide number is shown there and now your name should be given in the footer so let's insert one more text box give your name center number and can write down so we have inserted this in the slide slide master so that it will appear on every slide. So you can go back to the normal view. So view normal. So you can see the slide number and the name appears on every page. Sorry, every slide. Change slide 1 to have a title slide layout with no bullets. Make sure that all text on this slide is center aligned. So slide 1 should be title slide. So this is slide 1. Right click, go to layout and select title slide. So automatically all the elements are center aligned. Next on slide one, enter on a new line below the subtitle major crops around the world, the text, the presentation by followed by your name. So below this, type press a presentation by, then give your name. Format this new line in the same style as the subtitle. So this is the subtitle. You can just copy the formatting here. Select it. Click on Format Painter and you can select the text which we entered so that the same formatting will be applied. Use the data in worldyield.csv to create a line graph to display only the crop yields for rice, wheat and maize for the years 2011 to 2021. So we need to create a line chart. So for that, let's open the file. World crops, sorry, world crops dot yield. So 
So we need to display the data for 2011 to 2021 for rice, wheat and maize. And we have to create a line graph. So for 2011 to 2021, select the data for rice, wheat and maize. So this is the data. Now go to insert. I'm not selecting year now. If you select year, that since this is numeric data, that will be also plotted against the line graph. So select this rice, wheat and maize for 20, 2011 to 2021. Select the data, insert, line chart. So this is the line chart. Format the chart so that the crop names are displayed in a legend below the category axis. The year labels are displayed vertically on the category axis like this. So the legend is given here. You need to go to select data. The series 1 should be set to rice. Okay. Series 2, wheat. You can just click on the cell. Series 3, click on edit and then mix. So the legend is shown here. Now we need to format this axis so that the year is shown. So select this, right click, again select data. Now you can click on edit, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, edit. Now select the year range. Okay. okay. Now you can see the label should be displayed vertically like this. So for that, select the axis, right click, format axis, you can go to text options and then select text box here. So text direction should be this way. So now it is vertical. Label the chart with the title, World Crop Yields. So the title is World Crop Yields. The category axis title as year. So let's add the axis title. So click here and select axis title. So this should be year. And this axis should be tons per hectare. So you can type the axis title here, tons per hectare. Format the value axis scale to display a minimum value of 3 and maximum value of 6. So select the axis here, right click, format axis. So minimum value should be 3 and maximum value should be 6. Place the chart to the right of the bullets on the side, on the slide with the title adapting to increasing demand. So let's copy the chart. Adapting to increasing demand, you have to select this slide. So this is the seventh slide. You need to place it to the right of the bullets. So bring the bullets to the left side. We can paste the chart here.
make sure no words are split all data and labels are fully visible and the chart and its contents do not overlap any of the slide items so here everything is fine print only this slide as a full page slide in landscape orientation so this is the seventh slide you can print like this file print Make sure full, play, full page slides is selected. It is by default landscape. And you can select, give the slide number here, seventh slide. So this slide will be printed. You can click on print and it will be printed. Next, insert a new slide as slide two with the title and bullet list layout and uh, this text. So you need to insert a new slide here. So select the second slide, new slide. So it is already title and bulleted list layout. You need to, the slide title must be the challenge. And three bullet points increasing population increasing need for food and so just you need to type with them format the title and bullets to have the same form style size and formatting as other slides in the presentation so you can select this click on format painter and select the title here so it is the same Style same way for bullets. Copy the formatting and then change the formatting here. So now this slide has the same style as other slides. Add an action button below the bulleted text on the last slide so that when clicked it goes to the first slide in the presentation. So this is the last slide last slide now you have to add an action button on the last slide so you can go to insert shapes you can see here action buttons Choose any action button from here. So this will hyperlink to the first slide. Or else you can choose from here. So that's what we need here. It shows on the last slide so that when it clicked, it goes to the first slide in the presentation. Take screenshot evidence to show that action button links to the correct slide. So you can take a screenshot of this. And place in your evidence document. You okay. So you can see when you click on it. In the slideshow, you can click on it and it will go to the first slide. Save the presentation, print all the slides as handouts with three slides to the page. So in order to print all the slides, you can go to file, print, select three slides here. So this is like a handout, it can be printed. So for the examination purpose, you need to include your name, center number and candidate number either on the header or the footer. Go to edit header and footer and add the header with your name, center number and candidate number. So this is the end of the presentation task. You need to print the evidence document at the end. 
So this is our evidence document with all the evidences from the previous task also. You can check the description for the links to other tasks. Thank you for now.